Botticelli was one of the leading artists at the end of the 15th century and his work encapsulates a lot of the wonderful teachings that had gone before him. He uses luminous colour, but what is also really important about a work such as this is that we are immediately drawn to the emotion in the work. We see the grieving mother who knows that this darling child is going to die before his time. She doesn't know where, she doesn't know when. But we also have the empathy that is expressed in the angels, each one of them expressed in a slightly different way. The four of them in the front hold the different instruments of the passion, whereas the two angels behind hold the crown that Christ will eventually place on Mary's head when she becomes Queen of Heaven. But it is that sensitivity, that ability to make somebody standing in front of this work feel exactly what is going on between the mother and the child and the angels. That is so remarkable. If you look closely at the Botticelli, it has the most exquisite brush strokes. And there's something about that tondo form, that circular form, that it draws you in in a different kind of way. It leads you in rather than opening something out. And of course the tent or padiglione, as it's called in Italian, which the angels are holding back, also reveal the narrative that's taking place.